Hello everyone, this is Nanny Moo Moo and Papa Dunk and today we're going to see St Peter's Church in Lynchmere. At the moment you'll see that I'm at a T junction with offshoots to all oh, different little hamlets and villages. Come and explore with me. So you'll see this is Lynchmere Road, which connects Hammer to Lynchmere. And if we just go down this way, this is a road that comes off the B2131. And if we carry along this road, it will get us to St. Peter's Church. So we're approaching some oak trees and for those who have watched some of our more recent videos, the one in Godalming, you'll know that oak trees are one of Papa Dunk's favourite trees. And we're filming this on Good Friday in April 2023. And being careful, trying not to get anybody into the shots. We all like a little bit of personal privacy when we're walking. It's wonderful to see the trees in blossom. And the wild daffodils, all their various colours, shapes. Someone swing. In front of an old outbuilding. Probably can hear me crunching underfoot. After some wet weather, I've had a couple of days of dry weather. Makes such a change and difference to walking, dif uh, walking conditions. Might just be able to see up in the background there, the spire to St. Peter's Church. Where I was born in Adelaide, Australia, my family, or part of the family, were in a suburb called St. Peter's. Let's go to the church. For those of you who are post office aficionados, you'll know that the letters denote the reign of the monarch. And this one, though it looks old, is for Elizabeth Regina II. Here's a map of the parish of Lynchmere in the county of West Sussex. If you've seen uh, or watched Kevin's Rambles, you'll know that Kevin has done a really informative uh, walk around the church. So do, do, do have a look at it if you can. We're just walking under this, what is this called? Lynchgate. A lynch gate. A lynch gate. We've had a, just a very nice brief chat to the vicar who is saying that this church does date back 
to Saxon times, but over the years, the millennia, I guess, has grown and grown. It's still a very small church, but very, very lovely, peaceful church. Why don't you open the door, Papa Dunk? And it is open. I wasn't planning to come into the church, but we're here. Fantastic wooden, wooden carvery. And the vicar told us he has uh, two congregations, one here in Lynchmere, Camelford, and the other one in Fernhurst. So I imagine, I don't even imagine, I know he's very busy this weekend, especially for Easter Sunday celebration of Jesus Christ arising, if that's what you believe. So I don't know if you can read this. In memory of Geoffrey Wilberforce Tibbs, chaplain of the Royal Navy, vicar of Lynchmere from 1932 until his death in 1957. And here is some even older stained glass. Can you read that, Papa Dunk? George Walden, the last prior of Shoalbreed, 1533 to 1537, after the dissolution of the priory, down to Henry VIII, vicar of Lynchmere, 1537 to 1551. The priory of Winch, Winchmere, later called Shoalbreed, was founded by Sir Ralph de Arden, circa 1200, and the church, which dates from the time of William I, passed into the patronage and care of the priory circa 1230, and so remained until 1537. Maria Theresa Shepherd, fellow of the Institute of Landscape Architects, and a maker of gardens in Britain and Italy. So this is a seat that Papa Dunk and I often sit on and reflect 
And I always give a silent thanks to Vera Madwick, née Francis, who was married to Horace at this church in 1948. You may have heard earlier some cyclists huffing and puffing. It's quite a steep hill that they come up, up that this church is on, and they've come up that hill. But over there is the South Downs, and on a clear day, as Barbara Streisand said, you can see forever. keep giving a few little snapshots of the plaque for Richard Dimbleby and we'll go back to it in a minute. Every time I go to say this is the plaque for Richard Dimbleby somebody walks past or cyclists are huffing and puffing. You see Papa Dunk walking down there. Let's follow him. You'll see, as well as a lot of the headstones, there's quite a few plaques in the walls. This is a very beloved church. So at last it's a little quiet. I can talk over Richard Dimbleby. Here's his plaque here. Connections to Lynchmere in this area. Let's take a walk. There's wonderful cobbles here. Find Papa Dunk. There he is, Papa Dunk with his binoculars. So we'll leave it there from St. Peter's Church in Lynchmere. on a bright but slightly overcast Good Friday in 2023. Bye for now. Bye for now.